What we did was a meta-analysis of all the trials which had randomised uh, radiotherapy to no radiotherapy uh, against a background of mastectomy and axillary dissection. So every patient in all the trials we looked at were either randomised to radiotherapy versus not and everyone had mastectomy and axillary dissection. And what we wanted to look at was to see the effects of radiotherapy on breast cancer recurrence and breast cancer mortality. And we divided the women into dis uh, two different risk groups um, because current guidelines indicate that if a woman is node negative, so the no evidence of spread to the axillary nodes, that radiotherapy is not normally recommended. But if instead the cancer has spread to four or more axillary lymph nodes, most guidelines would recommend that uh, radiotherapy be given. But the grey area is if the it's found that the cancer is only spread to one to three uh, of, of the lymph nodes and really there's not much evidence around to direct guidelines um, suggesting what clinicians should, how they should treat that patient with radiotherapy. So the idea behind our study was to see what evidence there was available uh, in trials which had already been run and we found 14 trials that suited, matched our criteria and um, our results indicated that those women who were load negative, it seemed correct that radiotherapy gave no benefit. It was a very obvious benefit for women with four or more uh, positive axillary nodes. And what we found was that women with nodes one, two, three um, being positive, that there was also a very significant benefit on recurrence from breast cancer and also a very significant reduction in breast cancer mortality. Well, it was a 32% reduction for recurrence and for uh, breast cancer mortality, it was a 20% reduction in breast cancer mortality 20 years after randomisation. As radiation oncologists, we already knew that the majority of women who would node negative after a mastectomy um, gains no additional benefit from radiotherapy. And we knew that for women who are heavily node positive after mastectomy, um, that they gain substantial benefit from radiotherapy. But what we were unsure about was whether women with between one and three positive nodes after mastectomy benefited from radiotherapy. And the study really um, helps us to know what are the benefits in those women. In terms of what the study showed, um, it showed a substantial reduction in recurrence, overall recurrences and in breast cancer mortality for women with between one and three positive nodes. We know that the um, absolute benefits are likely to be less for women who are being considered for post-mastectomy radiotherapy today. And that's because screen, there's breast cancer screening, we're better at systemic therapy, we're better at local therapies. Um, but we can still apply, we're likely to be able to apply the proportional benefits in the study because the proportional benefits didn't vary according to various factors, for example, whether or not the woman has systemic therapy. So the study really helps us radiation oncologists um, to estimate the benefits from radiotherapy for our women in the clinic today. Clinicians can use our results to estimate what are the benefits for their women today. Um, and I think we need to use those proportional risk reductions to work out the absolute benefits. And we also help that, hope this will help those who are involved in uh, formulating guidelines. At the moment, the guidelines are unsure as to what to do with women with between one and three positive nodes. So we hope the results will be useful for them as well. Uh, the importance of the study is that it really represents um, really the world uh, uh, evidence of the effect of uh, local regional radiation after mastectomy. Follow-up has now gone on up to 20 years and uh, still shows a fairly uh, important effect on breast cancer mortality and overall survival. Um, importantly too, uh, the, one of the questions was, was radiation effective for people who had less lymph nodes and potentially less risk of recurrence, one to three nodes, and uh, in particular those who had a, a less than full axillary dissection. Uh, and this uh, analysis was able to separate out those patients who had a full axillary dissection, which is really the, now the standard of practice and still shows an important uh, relative and absolute benefit for that group of patients. So I think the results will have a big impact actually on clinical practice, not only um, uh, in the UK and Europe, but uh, throughout North America.